Bienvenidos a bordo. Abrochen sus cinturones. Esto es Flying with Alas. Contenido dirigido a la práctica del inglés. It so is. Nice. It is. We are recording this, so we don't know how it's going to be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> when you see this episode, but today is a wonderful day. Amazing weather. Yes. Amazing. Yes. Today we have a special and a very different program. Yes. 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 It's a pleasure. This program. Um, as we have the um, 12th of October. Yes. October 12th. Um, we have a special program talking about something that is very important in our identity as Argentinians. Uh, and we are going to talk about folklore. Folklore. Yes. And it's not Taylor Swift's <laughs> record. What is this? <laughs> it's the bass. Oh, okay, okay, okay. okay. Come on. Okay. If you don't know that, you can't dance malambo. I'm sorry. We can't dance malambo. No, we can't. Clearly. No, me <laughs> okay, so, uh, well, folklore for us, it's like a very strong part of our identity and our traditions. Uh, maybe you are very young and yes. you don't listen to folklore. No, but, I don't. Uh, <laughs> Do you? Not much now. Uh, but when I was young, I, I started singing folklore. Yes. When I was seven. Oh, eight. Eight. With my brother. Super young. Yes. Um, and my, my dad is a folklore lover. Um, and he's a celebrity in YouTube. He is a celebrity. A folklore celebrity in YouTube. Really? Yes. 11. Uh, thousand, eleven thousand, 11, 11, followers. Thousand. Really? Yes. <laughs> Or visualizer? Yes. Visualizer. Uh, I don't know. In, in one in one of the videos, and the rest has a lot. Okay. He's a celebrity. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. So uh, in my family, we always listen to folklore. Mm. Okay. Uh, also, I have a lot of uh, cousins who are uh, in this kind of of genre. Um, so. Did you went to dance for Gloria? I didn't go to dance. I didn't. Uh, I don't like dancing <laughs> much. Yeah. Okay. No. Um, and I didn't dance in the school. Have you ever? Yeah. Yes, I did. Time. You haven't. You haven't? No. Okay. Even in no, no, no. kindergarten. What did you dance? The gato in or? The gato, of okay. course. But then in the, the rest of the school years, I did all the dances, I think. Uh, in Guanajuato it's very common to dance the pericón. <gasps> yeah. Juli, yes. Juli is a very good dancer. <laughs> it's really know. difficult. It's oh, like, the, yes. the, it has like a little champ, right? Like, yeah. I, come on. I love it. I don't know. It's fun. I it's remember fun. the pericón, the gato, but I danced uh, carnavalito. I love carnavalito. We so, love happy yes uh, well it's very common in the schools to that no But we can yeah. do <laughs> i i used to see in disney like that kind of movie for example haiku musical and the end of the movie they teach you how to dance yes <laughs> we can do that dance along with us yes dance okay. along that was dance the along with us are you, are you drinking mate or what um, but well, okay okay for you Maybe you are not so close to this kind of music or this genre in, in, in your lives, but what what do you think is the meaning of, of folklore in our culture? Um, like you say before, I think it's really important to the identity of Argentina. It's like um, with tango too, it's something that identifies us um, as a country, I don't know, like the native things people yes and it talks a lot about our 
uh, idiosyncrasy. Mm -hmm. uh, it talks about or a lot of, of how we feel things and how we perceive the world in some point. Uh, the lyrics on folklore most of the times are related to love, are related to the everyday life of a, a working class family. Um, so it's really related to how we live our life here in Argentina. Yeah. Yeah. I think it's like a part of our culture and our everyday. Like as you said, during kindergarten or primary school, you always used to listen to this music for events. <laughs> yes. Yes, 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 yes. Um, and it's, it's, it's very nice. I like it. I like it. Mm -hmm. um, indeed, well, for example, I really like rock and there are many bands of rock that who, who took yes, uh, yeah. folklore um, to start or many songs from folklore. Uh, yes. Like for example, Divididos. Yes, I was band. thinking about that. Uh, uh, in fact, Divididos still uses yeah. a lot of influences of yes. uh, folklore music yeah, yeah. in his record, in its records. Yes. Um, well, and then Moshe's son is called Atahualpa, so yeah. <laughs> he has a lot of influence. Um, but yeah, and also now we have a lot of trap music yeah. over there. And all of these kids making this music uh, uses some things of the folklore. Yeah. We have Trueno, for example. Trueno, I was going to say that. Uh, he uses a lot of things related to folklore too. Yes, yes. I think it's. Uh, I think that folklore, um, like tango too, it's, a, it's something that you. It's always coming back, no? Like when you think that uh, it's over, it's the end of the genre, uh, someone took it, took, take it back, yeah, uh, in a different way maybe, um, but it's it's a good way to conserve part of our identity. Totally, totally. It's part of, of our tradition, and maybe, uh, maybe you're not an active listener of the genre, but you probably have, I don't know, maybe a grandfather or grandmother or aunt or uncle who listens to this music and it goes generation on generation. Yeah. Uh, that's how it continues in our tra tradition. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah, totally. Uh, so, well, uh, and I, I would like to mention like many artists uh, yes. that have been part of this and I think that one of the most important for us, like as, as women, uh, in Marcel Sosa. Yes, of course, of course. Of course. Um, One of the greatest musicians Argentina has. Uh, yes, uh, but well, we, we, we have like a lot of, of people who are part of our identity and our music. Uh, like for example, you mentioned before, Atahualpa, Atahualpa Shubanki. Uh, Los Carabajal, yes, I don't know. Los Carabajal. And for example, I'm from the south, from Noquem, and we have Los Hermanos Verbel, who are okay. the, the writers of the uh, province anthem. Oh, yes. You yeah. are, in Noquem, you're a fan of we the province fan. anthem. Yes, <laughs> yes. You have uh, a province. Yes. Every province has its uh, anthem. I didn't know. <laughs> yeah. So uh, then I will show you. Okay. Um, we we have we have had like uh, meetings with my friends yeah. from Nogen and we sang <laughs> the, the, this song because it's very beautiful. Um, then my, the other day that I was in Nogen, my cousin remind me that. We have uh, like a song of the of the CD. Oh my God! You know, who uh, that is written by the same people? You know? Okay. Yes. And it's beautiful too. Um, and you know that the song is about a, a person who comes back to Noken. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, realizes that everything has changed. Yeah. Uh, I felt the same okay. when I was there. That is so. I think so uh, characteristic of the southern part of the country 
and that led me to think on how uh, northern folklore is more happier than southern folklore. Okay, yes. We are we are more nostalgic, are, maybe. Oh, don't be angry with the pobre video shop. <laughs> 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 um, so yeah, uh, well, as you said, we have in different parts of the country different types. Yeah. Different types. Different types yeah, of folklore. Yes. And in the south, we are a little melancholic. Sad. Maybe it's the cold weather. I don't know. The cold yes. weather. The cold weather. The wind. No, yes. we are really nostalgic. Yeah. And in the northern part of the country, everything is happiness. Yeah. yeah. And yeah, festivities and cold. parties. Yes. And it's cold. It's because of the hot weather. Yeah. Of course. Yeah. Okay. So, as we are talking about different types of music in different parts of the country. Yeah. Today we have. Visitors, yes, Ooh. yes, little surprises. Yes, it's a little surprise. So our part finished here, <laughs> finished here, and we are going to show you different songs from different parts of the country. We are going from the north to the south. Yeah, uh, with different singers. There's talented singers. singers. Yeah, very talented. Very talented. talented everywhere. Yes, yes. Um, all around the country. So we are very thankful. Them yep, to be part of this, uh, and we hope that you can enjoy this. This is a kind of show for you. Yes. Uh, Alita's concert. Alita's concert. Alita's in concert. Yeah. Yeah. So, if you like, if you want to follow us, you can do it. Subscribe. Uh, give us love, and please give love to these people who is part yes. of this. Yes. Thank you very much program. to our talented guests yeah. today. So, well, enjoy.
mis manos ya son de barro tanto apretar el Ella es mucho, mucho más que amiga mía Se parece más a mí que el mismo yo Ella calienta mi motor cuando se enfría Y me levanta cuando caigo de dolor Ella no hace nada más y nada menos que quererme exactamente como soy y acompañarme desde lejos y darme valor eso no es amor es mucho más que amor es mi madre la mujer que dio por mí su propia sangre y me parió sin miedo es mi madre esa mujer que me aceptó sin conocerme y solo verme me adoró eso es mucho más que todo eso es mucho más que amor. Ella sabe dónde estoy aunque me esconda y me deja ser tan libre como soy. Hace que calla cuando quiero que responda y me responde solo cuando quiero yo y a veces pienso que la quiero y otras veces no eso no es amor es mucho más que amor es mi madre 
la mujer que dio por mí su propia sangre y me parió sin miedo es mi madre esa mujer que me aceptó sin conocerme y solo verme me adoro eso es mucho más que todo y eso es mucho más que amor es mi madre Cerquita de San Bernardo Tiene los ojos azules Como el agua de los mares Porque vino de tan lejos La tierra quedó en su sangre Hay que entrar por las picadas Para llegar a su rancho De barro y apuntalado Colorado, lleno de árboles el patio, herramientas de trabajo, una volanta, un arado, el paisaje de su charco. La OME es feliz con un poco, digamos que es mejor, con nada la OME era rubia y ahí se ve que era una linda alemana. La OME es feliz con un poco. La homera rubia y se ve que era una linda alemana. Y sola quedó la homa, pero ella no piensa en nada. ¿Cómo pensar en la muerte si la homa es como un hada? En su ranchito de barro calienta leña su pan. entrar por la picada para llegar a su rancho de barro y apuntalado con quebracho colorado lleno de es el patio herramientas de trabajo una volanta un helado y el paisaje de su charco la homa es feliz con un poco digamos que es mejor con nada la homa era y se ve que era una linda demanda la OME es feliz con un poco digamos que es mejor con nada la OME era rubia y se ve que era una linda alemana la OME es una mujer de setenta y pico de Thank you. 